to take a look uh, while we're waiting for them to resume their debate. I think it's interesting to look at where they're getting their money. We just saw that uh, Carly Fiorina is shopping herself out for speeches. And we're back. Let's go to Donald Trump. What he's talking about I've H1B. Tens of thousands of jobs. And in all due respect, and actually some of these folks I really like a lot, but I'm the only one that can say that. I have created tens of thousands of jobs. And I'll be creating many millions of jobs if I'm giving if I'm given the opportunity to be president. As far as Mark is concerned, as far as the visas are concerned, if we need people, they have it's fine. They have to come in to this country legally. We have a country of borders, we have a country of laws. We have to obey the laws. It's fine if they come in, but they have to come in legally. Thank you, sir. That was mentioned in your question. Do you I were, get you get thirty Thank seconds. You. Yeah. Well, um, so, I've learned the rules on this. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's interesting Look, because in all these governors the, uh, who say they created jobs, it was actually the people who ran private businesses like Donald Trump that really created jobs. Unless these Republicans take the line that uh, Obama did that you didn't build that. You didn't build that, yeah. Mm -hmm. And that's the way my parents came legally in 1956. But in 2015, we have a very different economy. Mm -hmm. Our legal immigration system from now on has to be merit-based. It has to be based on what skills you have, what you can contribute economically, and most important of all, on whether or not you're coming here to become an American. Not Thank just you, live Senator. in America, but be an American. Maybe you, you're coming Senator. here to be a president because you don't have to worry about the natural born citizen requirement <laughs> ship if you're Marco Rubio or Ted Cruz, right? Yes. After the Oregon mass shooting on October 1st, you said, mm. by the way, it was a gun-free zone. If you had a couple of teachers with guns, you would have been a hell of a lot better off. Or somebody else. Right. Would you feel more comfortable if your employees brought guns to work? Yes, I might feel more comfortable. I would say that I would, and I have a permit, which is very unusual in New York, a permit to carry. And I do carry on occasion, uh, sometimes a lot, but I like to be unpredictable so that people don't know exactly what <laughs> Please pull a gun out right now. By the way, just lay it down on the podium. Our country, where we're totally predictable, <laughs> and the <laughs> enemy, whether it's ISIS or anybody else, they know exactly what we're doing because we have the wrong leadership. Like we don't have any problem with allowing ISIS to carry. That's right. That's not, right. not only that, we're giving them the weapons to use to carry, to kill people, to go after Christians, to just demolish people's lives. ISIS but if, has but open if you carry. Do the right thing, yeah, yeah, they, they have, have open carry. carry. <laughs> and, that, and that has been okay. given from our government. Like I'm, I'm just a regular guy who follows the law, does the right thing. I want to be able to open carry. I want to be able to do all that stuff. I want to be able to protect myself. And shot them, killed them. Yeah, they if can they open carry guns, in their Toyota pickup truck. And nobody long. bothers them until the Russians get there. <laughs> so I think gun-free zones are a Kill catastrophe. Zone. They're a feeding <laughs> frenzy for sick people. We, we call Good. the few Trump resorts, few Trump properties that that do not allow guns with or without a permit. Would you change those policies? I would change it. Okay. Sure. I would change it. All right, it. thank you. John? Yeah, you're right. Governor Joe, Huffington he should have, like a boss, pulled yeah. out a gun, put it on there, then opened up his shirt. <laughs> Don't worry for prison. <laughs> hey, you have my, have my vote at that point. <laughs> if you do that. <laughs> Kit, you got something in the uh, Twitter room? Yes, David, I got a really good tweet here from Kathy. It says that CNBC is doing a horrible job moderating and needs to only ask questions, not to debate the uh, candidates. Yeah. And I think this whole debate's a good example of media manipulation. That first off, they saturate us with these phony non-issues, like you've seen with many of the questions. Then they try to suppress anyone who has something intelligent to say, like Rand Paul, for example. And this is exactly how the media is manipulating public opinion. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Let's see what uh, Huckabee is saying. Well, don't even feature Rand Paul in the polls. You can't go on the internet question. and find a poll that but even has him. Or on TV. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they completely just shut him out. Let me tell you, Donald Trump would be a better president every day of the week and twice on Sunday rather than Hillary. I've spent a lifetime in politics fighting the Clinton machine. You want to talk about what we're going to be up against next year? What cabinet year? position is Huckabee going for? Stage. You know, yeah. <laughs> I'm the only guy this, I'm the only guy that. Well, let me tell you one thing that I am the only guy. <laughs> the only guy that has consistently fought the Clinton machine every election I was ever in over the past 26 years. And not only did I fight them, but I beat them. Somebody says I'm a fighter. Well, I want to know, did you win? Well, I did. And not only did I fight them and win, I live to tell about it. And I'm standing on this <laughs> stage tonight. I live to tell about it. Yeah. Didn't have a Clinton he didn't side. Get, he didn't get Benghazi? <laughs> Arkansas. Yeah. I'll tell you, so you want to talk about more. He didn't get Arkansas. fostered either. Um, let's talk about something that's happened this week in the news. You know, the FBI director, the 
president's appointed FBI director, has said this week that because of a lack of support from politicians like the president of the United States, that police officers are afraid to get out of their cars, that they're afraid to enforce the law, and he says, the president's appointee, that crime is going up because of this. And when the president of the United States gets out to speak about it, does he support police officers? Does he stand up for law enforcement? No, he doesn't. I'll tell oh, you. Oh, man, this. he's got to meet the clock, the kid. That's what the president's the doing. Yeah, he can't right. be bothered with all this other stuff. And the security yeah. of the American people. This president has failed, and when I'm in the Oval Office, police officers will know that they will have the support of the president of the United States. They can do That's anything, get away with it. Plenty of opportunities right. to steal property. I got a whole bunch of MRAPs waiting out back full of Krispy Kreme donuts. We'll have a party. <laughs> we'll roll through your town <laughs> kicking in doors. Yeah. Offers a 401k to its employees. James Comedy. But more That's than the guy half of American right. workers have no access to an employer-sponsored retirement plan. That includes... The workers at small businesses and the growing. You guys notice that most of the people attacking Fiorina are the ladies. Freelance economy. Yeah. Should the federal government That's what play women a larger do. role in they just hate on each other. See, this is all. <laughs> This is all CNBC. When are we going to get our free government benefit? You know, that's that's well, another one of the CNBC the uh, question. Gets there. Engaged in oh, that was probably sexist, what it I just said. It gets worse. And then the government well, steps the point you were making, Joe, if I can try to clarify, <laughs> is that they bring up women to attack the other women so they can't call them sexist. Yeah. Companies yeah. should... But I mean, if this is typical of the kind of questions we're getting. When are we going to get our socialist welfare state? But honestly, you know, if you're a small business, you know, you're going to put our government. Well, what, what, what was it the first or the second GOP debate right. when they asked who, who they should replace on like the 50 cent piece or something like that? Oh yeah, I remember that. <laughs> oh the uh, and, and there's like ten dollar bill. Like what woman would what you, woman put on you on replace yeah, on that uh, coin? The bad news is they're going to they're going to replace Alexander Hamilton with a woman. They just haven't decided which one. It's got to be a woman. And why? Nobody asked what happened to the value of the ten dollar bill, right? Yeah. It was the Fed that tanked that. But, but, but let's just change the. Let's put a new face on it, right? That's what this is all about. That's what these elections are all about. They're about putting a new face on our declining economy, and they won't even talk about what they need to do to to get things in in balance. It'll be the Hillary Minton fifty cent piece. Yeah. There is no constitutional <laughs> role for the federal government to be setting minimum wages. Thank you the very much. The more the government gets engaged in the economy, the slower the economy becomes. The more the government gets engaged in the economy, it is demonstrably Thank true. You. The, the more the big, so the powerful, the wealthy, Thank and the well-connected. So I thought we were in the same clothes. We got Thank the purple thing going. Advantaged. We appreciate it. Thank I you. I just noticed that. Thank you. I want to turn my attention now to you, Governor Kasich. Gee. Kasich Most again. Can't get a college degree I think we need to take a look at this and see what, what's up. Where's he taking money off? from? Yeah. Where's he taking money from? He's paying somebody. I know. I know. You would think he was Here leading we get the, the next. Poll. This is what's going to be on the next. I, for, I forgot. Uh, I forgot he even Jenner. existed. The first two debates. <laughs> hey, you know. You know what, do You're probably right. That probably is going to be the next. <laughs> hey, hey. She's a hero. Yes. Okay. Bruce, Bruce Jenner is a hero. That's just let's back when he got on the the cover of the Wheaties box and won something in the Olympics. University. Yeah. <laughs> You'll probably put him on Mount Rushmore or she or it. Whatever the proper term is. Bruce it'll be Jenner. Mount, it'll be Mount Rushmore. Almost an entire first year. <laughs> It's going to be Bruce, college Bruce college gender. Do yeah. That. And of course, in addition to that, we are working now to go after the cost drivers in our universities. And let me give you an example. You know what's driving the cost of tuition? It's government subsidies. I mean, just in the time that I was in college, I, you know, I could afford to go to college without a scholarship. Mm -hmm. But you can't do that anymore. No, you can't. Because of the government scholarships coming in, the price has soared. And the same thing is happening with our health care system. Every time the government comes in and subsidizes something, it gets more expensive. That's the reality of this. And, uh, and they want to address this even as Republicans. Of course, you know, this is the John Kasich show tonight. Well, the only reason I could even get <laughs> an education, so to say, in college was to join the military. Yeah. And that's what they kind of force you into. Like, all right, you're either going to be in debt forever or you join the military. Mm -hmm. And then after that, you're not going to get taken care of. So you might have a degree, but you're not going to be able to walk to your job or actually do it. They're going to kick you out and put you on some kind of medical retirement that's complete and total BS and promise you for seven years they're going to fix your knee and then tell you that your ankle's broken when really it's your foot. Roger. Yeah. That's what you got to look forward to. Well, they want to keep you in the government institution most of your life and then keep you working for the and government. And then when I'm mad at them, they want to call me a terrorist and say that I'm the number one threat. Mm -hmm. But Joe, they said Obamacare was going to be free, right? Yeah, and that we're all going to get going to do more. The only thing that's free is the pain and anguish you have to go through every day. Next generation with recourse debt on their backs. But it's always the solution of the left to create 
more government from, fed, from the federal government. It is broken. It is not working. Jeb, remember that thank you, thousand? Thank you very Except much. it was Jeb who said this weekend, you know, when he was starting to get fed up, he goes, yeah, you're going to have gridlock if you have Trump in there. And, and everybody's lives are just going to go spiraling down because you're not going to have a Jeb Bush there passing new laws to no, fix you your life Jeb Bush. for on, you. you know? But I mean, that's his statist mindset oh, is yeah. that he has to be there fixing things and moving forward and passing more laws for people's lives to get better. Should the federal government well. treat it as such? Well, first of all, um, I'm 7-0 and in my fantasy football league. <laughs> <laughs> I had a feeling you were going to brag about Ronkowski that. Ronkowski is still going strong. I have Ryan Tannehill, Marco, as my quarterback. He oh, was 18 sucks. for 19 last week. Tom Brady's so the same. So I'm doing great, but we're not gambling. And I think this has become something that needs to be looked at in terms of regulation. <laughs> Effectively, it's day trading without any regulation at all. And when you have insider information, which apparently has been the case, where people use that information, use big data to try to take advantage of it, uh, there has to be some regulation. If they can't regulate themselves, then the NFL needs to look at this, you know, moving away from them a little bit, and there, there should be some regulation. I, I have no clue whether the federal government's the proper place. My instinct is no. to say hell no, just about everything oh. about the federal government. Except okay. so blowing up other countries. Unless okay. I'm in charge. Until most I get the Republicans the have, <laughs> yeah, most Republicans have voted against any kind of online gambling because they want money from Sheldon Adelson. We have 19 <laughs> trillion really dollars in debt. We have people out of work. We have ISIS and Al Qaeda so attacking us. I can't believe we're, we're talking, talking about, about fantasy, fantasy football. football. <laughs> yeah, that's the first time you've said yeah. something, Chris, that I can agree with. You, you deserve a dozen. <laughs> to do what they're supposed to be doing. Secure our borders, protect our people, and support American values and American families. Enough on fantasy football. Let people play. Who cares? Sharon, I want to... Yeah, let's right. throw some people in jail. That's real <laughs> government. Governor <laughs> Christie, you've said something that many in your party do not believe, which is that climate change is undeniable, that human activity contributes to it, and you said, quote, the question is, what do we do to deal with it? So what do we do? Well, first off, what we don't do is do what Hillary Clinton and John Kerry and Barack Obama want us to do, which is their solution for everything. Put more taxes on it, give more money to Washington, D.C., and then they'll fix it. Well, there's no evidence that they can fix anything in Washington, D.C. What should we do? What we should do is to be investing in all types of energy, John. All types of energy. And I've laid out... In government? The government? No, yeah. John. <laughs> Do you want me to answer? You want to answer. How are we going to do that? Because, because I got to tell you the At truth. At least he's got a little fire under him right now. What you're doing is called rude. So. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> we've laid out a national energy plan that says that we should invest in all types of energy. I'll tell you, you could win a bet at a bar tonight since we're talking about fantasy football. If you ask who the top three states in America are that produce solar energy. California and Arizona are easy, but number three is New Jersey. Why? Because we worked with the private sector to make solar energy affordable and available to businesses and individuals in our state. We need to make sure that we do everything we can across all kinds of energy, natural gas, oil, absolutely, but also where it's affordable, solar, wind, and Hot air from my mouth. very affordable <laughs> and it makes sense. That's the way we deal with, with global warming, climate change, or any of those problems. Not through government invention, not through government taxes, and for God's sake, don't send Washington another dime until they stop wasting the money they're already sending there. No right thing about there. solar energy, I'm not knocking, I think it's a, a, a great resource, but like in Arizona, they have those huge fields where birds fly by and they catch on fire. <laughs> Because of the well, reflection of the what he's if you look at his program what he said that they're doing in new jersey they make it affordable they're subsidizing it so you know that's the that's well, they're gonna let rand talk uh, yeah what works better the Ronald private Reagan. marketplace or government and what <laughs> distributes goods better it always seems to be the private marketplace does a better job is there an area for a safety net can you have medicare or social security yeah but you ought to acknowledge the government doesn't do a very good job at it the main problem with medicare right now is that the average person pays in taxes over their whole lifetime about a hundred thousand but the average person takes out about three hundred and fifty thousand we have this enormous mismatch because we have smaller and smaller families when people ask me whose fault is it whose fault is it that medicare is broken out of money that social security is broken out of money and i say look it's not republicans fault it's not democrats fault it's your grandparents fault for having too many damn kids <laughs>
After the war, we had all these kids, baby boomers. Now we're having smaller families. We used to have 16 workers for one retiree. Now you have three workers for one retiree. It's not working. I have a bill to fix Medicare. I have a bill to fix Social Security. Senator. For both of them, you